Yo, 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 what's up, MG fam? It's your boy, Coach McGruff. I'm back. Back with another episode of the Firm and Paladins Team Builder Dynasty, baby. We here. Bowl season is upon us. We made it to a bowl game. But first, let's check out what's going on around the country here before bowl season kicks off. You can see the big one. The Texas Longhorns are going up against the Virginia Tech Hokies. And everybody is calling for the Longhorns to take the victory. But the Virginia Tech Hokies are undefeated. They won the conference 13 wins. Haven't lost a game yet. So it's going to be interesting. Even though Texas is killing them in all facets of the game. But let's look at our conference standings here. With our only loss coming to Appalachian State in the final game of the season. But hey, we were able to take home our second straight conference championship here in the Sun Belt, and we're looking to take off in bowl season. And Arkansas State coming second place, Georgia Southern third, and Louisiana in fourth place. We got three nine-win teams and uh, four teams above eight wins, bro. Eight wins are above. Pretty good season for us. Our defense stood out. One of the top defense in the conference. And you can see only 78 overall. We're sitting at two-star prestige. And looking to take that jump to be a three-star school here soon. Let's check out the Heisman winner. And the Heisman goes to James Cook III from Georgia, man. The running back had a pretty good season. This kid, last game, he had 100 yards. And the second place... Winner is Hooker. We'll get to show you guys in the championship game if he was meant to be the Heisman winner after all. So let's check out the All-Americans, baby. The All-Americans, you can see we have one there. Mr. Noah Curtis, who takes home the Lombardi Award. You can see he got the Lombardi Award. And the Nagurski with a 15-sack season and a 24-tackle for loss. This guy has been doing a lot over the field, and he's got two forced fumbles to top this thing out, man. His career total is 25, and he's only a junior, so we will be seeing more of Nora next year. And also our D-tackle, Brian Ross, the senior who converted from defensive end to D-tackle, had his best year, and he get 11 sacks in his final year as a Furman Paladin. And he combined for more sacks this year than he did in his first three years. So a pretty good season to round it out for him. And another D-tackle. Our D-line been one of the best in the nation this year. Andrew Patton, the junior. He should be coming back for a final season. Eight sacks for him. 33 tackles for loss. Only 278. Look to pack on a few more pounds and see if he can make more havoc in the interior of the defense and jamari milliken man probably one of the most polished players we had since we started this dynasty this guy took home return of the years award each year he was playing 2014 15 and 16 as you can see he had three kick return tds this year and he also had three in the 2014 year and his punt returns have not been you know as awarding as it was before but he was able to take home that award so now let's check out the bowl games the Gildan Bowl got New Mexico versus Oregon Akron versus Utah State in the Idaho Potato Bowl and also the New Orleans Bowl which feature ourselves the Furman Paladins and the Old Dominion guys who only lost two games in their whole conference. And the Las Vegas Bowl will have Arizona State going against Colorado State. And the Hawaii Bowl, Marshall versus UNLV. It's a lot of great bowl games going on this year. The Clemson game versus Memphis is going to be an eye catcher. And Georgia Southern, man, against Boston College. Going to be interesting also in the Russell Athletic Bowl. So I believe the Sun Belt will do some damage this year in the in the bowl season i believe we can at least come away with a few victories first starting with ourselves man ourselves we should be able to get a victory over old dominion they're a very talented school but hey i believe we fought enough this year to be able to get a victory in the bowl so last year we did win our bowl it was the same bowl new orleans bowl we played fiu but we were able to come away with a victory and we were able to crown ourselves as the new orleans bowl champs and that was our first bowl win of coach mcgruff tenure here at Furman, so he's looking to add another bowl victory this year which would be a second appearance as a coach in a bowl game so we're looking to go 2-0 baby so i believe we're gonna do our thing
But we're about to get ready to get into this game against the Old Dominion guys here in the New Orleans Bowl, man. I'm ready to go, and it's time to get on to the field, guys. Let's get it. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you. Out here now, baby. Rocking out all black uniforms to send the seniors off with a victory. We're repping the home squad today. And we are going to try to get a victory. It's going to be very interesting to see this strong pass offense against our strong rushing offense. We were able to put the ball in the air somewhat, but we have a pretty good defense. But our defense will be the key this game. This team is number three in passing touchdowns and number 70 passing offense. So let's get the kickoff going. And Simmons put the boot to the football and... The bowl season has started, baby. Let's go. So Jackson takes it out of the end zone. He's trying to find some room, but we're there, and he breaks a tackle. And my goodness, looks like this kid is going to the house on the first play. And we got a cornerback trailing, but I don't think he's going to get him. And that's a touchdown, an early score on the board for David Jackson to put Old Dominion up by seven points. That's crazy. So let's go. We're out here. We're going to try to get a read option going against this defense. And, yes, sir, my boy Clark finds some room. He runs up the middle and gets only four yards. Better than zero. Let's go. So we're coming out this time with trips to the right side of the field with a tight end. And we're going to try to find Suttles. And he drops a wide open catch there, man. That pass is right on the money. and He wasn't able to pull it in. And on 36, we're going to do a little draw play to see if we can get some trickeration up the middle. And yes, sir, he finds some room, but they catches him right there. Only for a five-yard rush, Palmer goes down. And a big stand for the defense. So coming back out, they are up by seven. We're looking to get a stop on the defensive side of the ball. And Hill with a read option himself, and he has some room to work with. And that's a first down for the Old Dominion guys. First down, 10 to go. One more time, we're coming back with it. We're going to have the DBs in the secondary because we're afraid of this pass attack. And he puts his running back in motion, and he drops back. We're sending a blitz from the edge, and look at it. He blew the top off the defense, and their best wide receiver, Ellison, goes for a 43-yard TD. And we're going to get the ball back here down by two scores. And let's see what you got, Milliken, the returner of the year. Do you have it in you to get a big score and yes sir he finds the edge and he got some room to wiggle baby and he's look like he's going all the way at the 20 the 10 and yes sir we finally get on the board for a score to start it and let's get it the longest kick return in school history maybe ncaa history 107 yards baby and they're going to come back with it. Threatened to score on the 50-yard line with three minutes left in the first quarter. Hill drops back, and he launches it and finds Colbert across the middle, man. You cannot give him that much time in the pocket. He will make you pay. So they're coming out with four wide outs. And we're going to send some pressure up the middle. Maybe we can cause some confusion for the quarterback. But he's able to find a receiver in his Ellis. And he still formed one guy. And he throws down another one. Almost get a score on that one for another 33-yard reception. Two receptions for 76 yards for this kid. We got to get on top of it. So they're coming back out. They're bringing three wideouts to the left side of the field. Are they going to throw the ball? Yes, they do. Hill drops back, and he launches it and finds Rice to tight end for another score. These guys are up 21 to 7 to start this game, and they're coming back out with it again. 44 seconds left in the first quarter. These guys already got three scores on the board. We thought this offense was dangerous, and it's showing, brother. And Hill goes to the right, and he breaks one tackle, and he falls down at the 17-yard line. Coming back out with it again, man. 30 seconds left. These guys are threatened to score. Probably one of the strongest offenses we faced. We didn't think these guys were that good. So he drops back, and we got a sack. No, he breaks that one, but we're able to get on top of the kid. And that's what I'm talking about, Pat, and helping your teammate out. And they're coming back out. They love to spread the field, man. They're spreading the field. They haven't been running the ball as much. Three seconds left. And he's going to run up the middle. And we got our hands on him and able to take him down for a five-yard rush. So the end of the first quarter, these guys are still threatened to score, man. They're going to come out here at the top of the second. Third and 13. Let's see what you got. We run the cover three right now. 
he drops back, he looks across the field, finds Robinson, but we're on top of him, and we can stop these guys from getting seven, but maybe three. They weren't able to get three points either. So let's go. So second and 11, we're gonna run a couple hits. They blitz in like four guys, and we find Tuttons there on a great pass, and he goes down for 11 yard gain, third and one. Seven for 10, Robbie Clark is but only a few yards. We gotta get this passing game going. So we're gonna run the option. He holds it there and he's able to fall for it for a first down. And we needed that play, baby. We needed that one in a big way. Coming back out with it one more time. Robbie, let's get it. We're gonna run a screen play with my guy Palmer, one of the fastest backs from the Sun Belt. And he finds some room, kicks it to the edge. And do he have something? Yes, sir. He goes down at the 30 for a 12 yard reception. We're going to run a little fade route here. Maybe we can catch these guys slipping. Robbie drops back. And he looks, but he runs it. And he finds some room. And he slides down for the first down. Good way to find yourself some room, young fella, to get a first down. Let's go. Nine plays, 30-something yards, brother. We're going to run a draw play, the oldest trick play in the book. And he finds some room, Hawkins does. And another big eight-yard rush to give us second and two. And they have a player down on the field. I'm sorry that he's hurt, but I'm glad it's not one of our guys. He's going to be out for one quarter with a screen pictorial. And we're going to try to get a score here. So Palmer goes up the middle, and that's another first down. Four minutes left in the second quarter, and we're ready to get this thing popping, baby. Let's go. So, second and goal, baby. We're trying to get something here. We're going to come up with five wide. Maybe catch Miller across the middle. And Robbie looks, but almost throws an interception there. That would have hurt us. And we need to get some points on the board at least before the half is out. And coming back out, we may look for the tight end on this little out play right here. And he launches it, finds Tuttons, but not able to get the touchdown right at the goal line. Only four receptions for 27 yards. Now for 15 for Robbie, the read option, man. We got to get something. Maybe give it to the running back. And he holds on to it and get blowed up at the goal line. We could have used seven points there. Maybe we should have kicked the field goal, man. Hindsight is always 20-20. Coming back out with it again. We're going to be streaking, bro. In the third quarter, still down by a couple scores. And we find Smith there at the 50-yard line in a big grab. Let's get this thing started, baby. Let's go. Coming back out second and 10. We're going to try to get something. Our favorite routes, those hitches. Nothing don't look like it's going to be there. Maybe we find someone. Yes, Brown catches it and falls for it for a first down. 13-yard reception from Brown. 17 for 25 is Robbie Clark with only 120 plus yards. And we're going to try to get more established here. And he drops back and he rolls out. He's looking for someone and he does find Smith. Nice way to reposition yourself, Robbie, to get that pass off. Second and eight, baby. We're going with it with another draw play since they sent in some pressure. And the Palmer was able to get four yards on that play and get us within a third down and four that we can probably convert. And we're back again with three wide outs to the right side of the field. Robbie drops out. Oh, my goodness. Almost threw an interception. It was on the guy back. We can't afford that. Maybe a field goal this time since we didn't get three the last time. Got to be more careful. And he kicks it, and it's up through the uprights, and we get on the board. We're only down by two touchdowns now, baby. Only down by two touchdowns. We got to be able to stop this offense and get another score we gotta put points on the boy i mean seven not three we need touchdowns baby so he's running a screen play here find some room sinclair's on the edge and we gotta trail this guy oh my goodness we're able to take him down right there at the 37 yard line but that's a big gain of yards for those guys man we gotta be able to get on top of them so let's get it they coming out with double tights Looking for someone to go in motion. Yes, it does. Taylor goes in motion. And maybe they run it to the left, and they do. St. Clair finds some room and almost got a first down there, 30 inches. We need a turnover here, you guys, to at least stop this offense. So they're going to kick a field goal, and let's see if he get it. Let's see if he get it. I hope he don't get it. So he kicks it up, and it's in there. I thought it was going wide right, but he's able to get his team three more points to put him up by three scores. So we're coming back out with one minute left in the third quarter. Clark drops back, finds Smith, his favorite target today, and he falls forward for a 16-yard reception. 13 rushes for only 45 yards that Palmer gave us. 
And now it's all we got to do now is pass the ball and they get a sack here on the second down. And now it's third and 16, man. We have to go to a full pass offense, bro. We can't afford to run the ball right now. So he drops back and it looks like he finds Tuttons and Tuttons fall forward for a 20 yard reception. Right when we needed it, he get us in there. So 21 for 31, 194. Robbie has came alive in the second half and he's looking to get in the end zone. He drops back and he finds Hines. I'm not sure how he found him, but the ball went in. Let's check out that replay one more time, man. Hines was smothered by the cornerback, but the pass was thrown so perfect, and he was able to pull it in. So we're going with it again, buddies. We're going with it again. We're going to try to get a little screenplay here with Tuttons. He fakes it, finds Tuttons, and the field is wide open. Can he go in the end zone? And yes, sir. Tuttons able to score off of the screen pass, something we've been practicing all year long, and we're able to finally get a touchdown on that play. So we're only down by 10, baby. Coming back out with 5 minutes and 44 seconds left. And Robbie drops back, finds Tuttons one more time, and he falls for it for an 8-yard reception. Tuttons is clutch. He got to come in the clutch for us. Only one TD pass all game long, and we're going to try to keep this thing going. Palmer runs it and falls for it for a first down, man. He falls for it for a first down, and that's going to give us another set. Let's go. Third and four. It's all on this one, baby. Maybe we can get Brown, but if Tuttons can find a soft spot, we got him. And I think it's Tuttons, and yes, sir, this guy has been coming in the clutch for us. He has hands of glue. Get another first down. 11 receptions in this game. Tuttons have came live for us, bro. The read option is here. And see what we got. Clark holds it. And my goodness, he found some extra room. Broke a tackle. And yes, sir. Second and one. We have four minutes left. Not enough time to be, you know, very slow. We got to rush it. We got to rush it. So we got a nice little wheel route going here. Clark is looking for a teammate. And my goodness, we almost had a pass, but he was in the middle of double coverage so 10 for 17 on third down we're coming out on 31 with a read option let's see if we can keep it with hawkins he holds it and he gets blowed up did we get the first down they say we did and we'll take it baby just don't review the play refs so we're gonna hurry up back to the line we only have three minutes left maybe we can catch these guys slipping and he's gonna launch it and try to get tuttons but it's almost intercepted but we're able to live to fight another down we're living to fight another down and we're going with it third and 13 baby can we score maybe cross the middle to tuttons no that's smith he pulls it down in another first down 18 yard reception to get us in there four receptions for 66 yards from the big wide out let's go so we're on first and 10 maybe we can get a first down here touchdown and we find a wide open Hines with another big grab and we're back in it guys we're back in it with a 20 Four to 27 score man and we got to get a stop here if we can get this one stop we can get ourselves back in scoring position and win this game let's go so Hill drops back and he finds Robinson across the middle the defense was wide open that secondary left a hole wide enough to drive a truck through we got to be able to get back with it so Hill is back there. He's got two minutes and 30 seconds left. Let's see what he's going to do with it. We're trying to get the crowd on our side and see if we can get this thing popping. At the bottom of the screen, I just saw that Appalachian State lost. Got blew out, but we're still in hours and a pick from Holland right there to turn the tide of the game. A big pick from Holland. Let's take another look. The two-star cornerback able to pull it down, man. That's what we're talking about. We live to fight. I live to play games like this, man. This is the bowl season. It's all or nothing. Sell out, baby. So we coming back out. First and 10, we have a chance. We have a chance. And we find Tuttons. He pulls it down by the 40 in a 14-yard reception. The Paladins is marching down the field and trying to get a score or at least a field goal. One minute and 44 seconds left. Robbie drops back one more time. And he finds Suttles to the edge. And that's what we're talking about, baby. A 
big grab, his first of the game, 18-yard reception from the senior wide out to give us a chance in scoring position. Third and 11, if we don't get this play, we can be safe and kick a field goal. And Robbie drops back and he launches it wide open to Tutton's and he had a foot out of bounds. His foot was out of bounds, man. Should have we challenge it or no? We're going to just take the field goal to be safe, man. We're going to take the field goal to be safe. And Simmons kicked that one. And it's 27 to 27 with one minute left. If we play our cards right, we will be able to go into overtime at least in this big game so 20 seconds left here second and 13 these guys drop back looking like it's screaking and we almost had an interception but he dropped it he dropped the pick that would have been huge for us huge for us so 13 seconds left man we know they're gonna throw a play like a Hail Mary or such as long as we play good defense we should be okay we should be okay and motion is a tight end and he drops back it's all or nothing. Can we get a sack? No. He launches it to Ellison, who gets in field goal range on a 44-yard reception. That was good defense. And they're going to temper field goal with seven seconds left. Can we get a block? This would be huge for the team. And he kicks it. Is it short? No. It's up through the uprights. And they will take the lead with only three seconds left. And it all comes down to a Hail Mary play. Oh, my goodness. We're going to try to find Tuttons. The defense pressuring. And he launches it. And Tuttons drops it. He dropped it. If he could have catch it and broke the tackle, we would have won. Man, the bowl game goes down in historic fashion. This is how you want to play your final game of the season. Congratulations to the Old Dominion guys. That was a big win, but we fought our way back into this one, man. We fought our way back into this, man. Look at Robbie, man. Robbie has shown out this year as a freshman. 30 completions, 44 attempts, 2 TDs. No interceptions. It's probably his best game of the year coming in the final game of the season. I'm more than proud of this guy. And the running game wasn't able to get off the ground, but the passing game came alive in the second half to give ourselves at least a shot. We were so close to getting this victory, man. We were just that close. The wideout stepped up. We were able to find some guys, and Tuttons had his best game so far. The sophomore had 12 receptions, 147 yards, and one TD and a big touchdown from the guy Hines down there. Only two receptions, one of them being a touchdown. And Smith gave us some big receptions also. Man, I can't be mad at my team. We fought. We know we were playing against an evenly matched opponent. And on the defensive side, we were only able to get two sacks, man. These offense lines had keyed on our defensive line in these last few games causing some trouble for us causing a lot of trouble for us but these guys fought they gave it all they had to they they left it all on the field they left it all on the field and that was a great thing so let's check out the team stats the score you already know only three points we had 22 first downs to these guys 13 and we had 366 total offense passing yards 307 to the 310 and we had 23rd down conversions, but we converted 12. That was pretty good, man. But that one mistake of not going for a field goal in the red zone killed us. Killed us. We could have had three points and went to overtime and gave ourselves another chance, man. Another chance. But time of possession, these guys couldn't hang with us because they were scoring in spurts, yo. They were scoring so fast. The first half, I thought the game was over with. It was a blowout at least, but we were able to fight our way back into this thing. And we're ready, man. I believe we can get at least ranked next year with this young squad we have here at the Furman University. I believe we have the core set. We have enough decent recruits coming in to take this program to the next level. We went two years to the New Orleans Bowl, and we're looking to go at least to the BCS next year. And we're going to be upset, guys, for everyone. So I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Hit that like and subscribe button, notification bell, and holla at your boy, MG fam. It's your boy, Coach McGruff, and we out, baby. Let's go.